Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are planting hanging baskets with yep. Linda from the Plant Connection in Ishpeming. Uh, if you enjoy this episode and it's something you want to dig into yourself, Saturday, you said you have a workshop at the Plant Connection. What time does that begin? It starts at 10. Okay. And it lasts as long as it takes you to build your pot. <laughs> Do people need to sign up? Can they just come in or? Well, they can just come up in, but they can sign up on the, uh, my website, okay. plantconnectionllc.com. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. So um, we, like I said in the last segment, uh, we FaceTimed with you yesterday to pick out our uh, flowers. Uh, Tia, as she was showing us the greenhouse, mm -hmm. what? Why did these ones in particular catch your eye? Well, I was I wanted to go for kind of all pinkish flowers just to have a color theme going on. Yeah. So I just thought these ones were nice. Yeah. And this one, what was it called again? Namisha. Namisha. Mm -hmm. Namisha. They smell so good, you guys. Tia's got her nose into one right now. <laughs> um, really really fragrant so those that's going to be a really beautifully smelling um hanging basket so she has petunias namisia Nami calabacoa okay and bacopa okay yeah i picked out the petunias as kind of my main flower i thought flower wise they were very very pretty yeah um and then i picked out these other ones to kind of just go along yeah it's like accents. accents yeah, yeah. Okay, and I picked, um, well, I love dark purple petunias. They're one of my favorites. I always, every year, um, I get a hanging basket with them in it. So I, I put some white to go with it because I also, what are these called, Linda? Superbina. Superbina. I think they're so pretty with the, the purple and the white. Purple's my favorite color, so I'm always drawn to purple flowers. But I also um, really love these little yellow flowers. They're actually one of my daughter's favorites, so I kind of picked them um, in honor of her because every time I go pick out flowers, she's always trying to get me to get these little yellow ones. So, And I think they just make a nice you know, splash of color with all the purple and kind of the muted tones mm -hmm. that I picked. So those were the ones that I picked. What are these ones called, the yellow? It's right in the front there. Gold dust, let's see. It's a little difficult name. Okay, Macardonia? Sounds good to me. Macardonia. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so we're making hanging yeah. baskets. So obviously the first step is to have a pot. These ones obviously have holes in them. Yep. They'll be hanging outside. What if I want to hang it inside? What should I do? Well, Good question. <laughs> you should probably just put it, instead of hanging it inside, well, you'd have to have something on the bottom. Do you like a pot in a pot kind of situation? Pot? Yeah, you could do that. Like okay. a strange pot in a yeah. pot? You could put that pot inside a bigger pot and then mm -hmm. hang it, yes. That's How do you idea. determine what size pot you should use? I mean, we have four decently mm -hmm. sized flowers. I'm looking at this like, what? Those are gonna fit in there? So how do you decide? Well, you just go for it. Um, I always like to have things push together, especially in a container. Yeah. So you get a bigger effect. I mean, if you had a lot bigger container, it wouldn't quite be the same and it would take like forever sure. for you to get the same effect that you're gonna have with the smaller one. But this, it won't, it's not a, a situation where like they won't grow because you pick too small of a pot? Oh, no. No. No, okay. not okay. these. Okay. And if it gets way too big, you can always transplant it. Sure, yeah. move it into yeah. a bigger one. How okay. often should you be transplanting your plants? How often? Yeah. I would tell you only when it looks like you really need to. Um, annuals, they are only good for the season. So if you fertilize them correctly, which I suggest a water-soluble fertilizer once a week and proper watering and proper sunlight, you know, you will have an amazing planter that you won't have to transplant. If it gets so huge that you say, oh my gosh, I really gotta transplant mm -hmm. this one, you can do it at any time. You know, it doesn't matter with an annual. Okay, okay. okay. So, should we get to planting? Let's get to yeah. planting. So, I'll get the soil for you. Okay. okay. I'll fill these half full. Some soil and you always there. have to use a quality potting mix. What's a, a potting mix for yes. these? Okay. Yes. Does it make a difference, you know, when you see the potting mix and it'll say, like, for vegetables, for fruit, uh, for flowers? Does it really make that much of a difference, or are they all kind of the same? No, they are, they're different. They're different. Yeah, for vegetables, I would use an organic soil. Okay. Um, you can keep going there with okay. tea. I'll scoop, okay. my, I'll scoop my soil. For flowers, a good potting mix makes all the difference okay. in the world. Is there an ingredient or something that you want to make sure you have in your potting soil? Not in the potting soil as much as in your fertilizer. Ah, okay. You want to have 
uh, a lime in your fertilizer that the plant can take up through the roots. Um, just a minute. We start with a continuous release fertilizer. We put some of that in there and then we'll mix it up a little bit. Yeah, give me a shake. Okay. And you said do this about once a week. No, not this. Oh, not that. Just this kidding. one will be once oh, a week. And okay. what I was trying to say on the um, the ingredient, you want a lime in there? pH, okay, these are salts. Fertilizers are salts. So the pH of the plant goes up every time you put the fertilizer in. And it'll get to a certain level. Well, it won't take up nutrients anymore. So the lime in here keeps it at a real le level that um, will keep the plant taking up the nutrients. Okay, okay. So that's why you do that, use a plant with, uh, fertilizer with lime in it. Okay, well, we're gonna keep um, getting these in. I think we have to take another break though. So okay. we'll do that and um, come back and, and finish things up. And we're gonna meet the wild pups as well. <laughs> at least one of your maybe favorite one. Two. Two. Two, <laughs> Two wild Two. pups.